Hey, my friends, I just wanted to start this by honestly saying thank you to you all. Like the reactions to the single we released with, with my band Fearless last week was the reactions were great. And you, you seem so excited about this upcoming album and you've all been so supportive. And I just wanted to say thank you to you all. So a cool thing you probably don't know about this album is that it was actually recorded a long time ago, I think six years ago. We started at least in 2013 and I think we ended in 2014, at the end of 2014. So this is actually an old album and this album was the actual reason I started this. This album was the reason I started YouTube, that I started this channel. The story is we finished the production of the album in 2014. Then I started to search for record deals with record companies to release the album. And for two years I searched and I negotiated with multiple companies and all the contracts were like, extremely invasive. They were very unbalanced and not in our favor. There was one record company that even wanted a piece of my YouTube channel. This is true. And those years were just filled with endless failed negotiations while I was living off my singing lessons to local students, to local music schools, and I was doing also session studio work. And that was before I was serious with YouTube. I had about 3,000 subscribers. I already had a few videos there, but it was just like a creative outlet, just a random hobby, until something happened. In 2017, my father died of cancer. And I was broke at the time and I was very sad, of course, because my father had just died. And, but what made me the most sad is that my father died without being able to, to see me succeed, without being able to see his son going away on a, on a path of, of, of certainty. And I mean that financially and otherwise. And I said to myself, you know what? This sucks. This thing of waiting, waiting for, for being discovered. You know, that whole mentality of waiting for good things to happen to you. Of maybe some people with the means necessary to find you and, 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 and make your dreams come true. Like, this is how losers do things. This is not how winners do things. And I didn't, didn't want to be a loser. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do this myself. I'm gonna build an audience for my band and for this album myself. And then I started uploading in, in this channel once a week and I, haven't stopped since. That was two years ago. And now I thought it's the time. We have more than 60,000 people subscribing to this channel. It's a, it's a sizable community and it's an awesome community of wonderful people, supportive people that like me for who I am. And I think it's time to show you what, what, I, what we did to to show you our art. So this is the story of this album and why I started YouTube. And back on those days when we finished the album, we put together a kind of a mini documentary slash teaser for the album to send to record labels and press release, that kind of stuff. And as I said, that was before I was doing YouTube seriously. I didn't have a, a, a good camera. I only had my cell phone, so it has a little bit of rough cinematography but I wanted to show you this mini documentary anyway and please excuse the roughness I hope you appreciate it for what it is just a trip to the past into our minds the way they were back when we 
produced that album. Enjoy. They found it. The legend was true after all. Chronicles of Ancient Wisdom is a conceptual album. That means the whole album tells a story. Each track is a piece of a bigger puzzle, and I think this is the most amazing way to tell a story with music. It's the most amazing way to to reach out to the listener and say, hey, I have a message, you know? People that will really, really enjoy uh, this album, I think, uh, is the kind of people that are into really whimsical, fairy tale-like music. You know, people that that are huge fans of cinema, of you know, soundtracks, video game music. The sort of people that like to to travel in their minds uh, when they they're listening to music. This is the kind of people that will really, uh, really enjoy this album to the fullest. Desde a primeira música desse CD, a gente teve a intenção de que ele não fosse apenas um CD de música, mas que ele realmente pudesse alcançar o coração do ouvinte. Eu entendo que a nossa mensagem era trazer uma mensagem de esperança, uma mensagem motivacional, né? que para aquela pessoa que estivesse ouvindo o CD ela se sentisse motivada, se sentisse encorajada a conquistar seus objetivos, seus sonhos, a sonhar mais. Né? Tanto que é um CD muito épico. Né? Todos os seus arranjos e estruturas. Houve uma preocupação de a gente fazer arranjos que fossem marcantes, que realmente grudassem assim, na, na mente do ouvinte, no coração do ouvinte. E os refrões são muito épicos, heróicos e marcam. Justamente nesse sentido, de trazer motivação, de trazer força, alegria, né? uh, de fazer a pessoa sentir vontade de sonhar. É uma coisa que nós precisamos hoje em dia é sonhar mais. My, my favorite thing about listening to our songs, to feel the songs, is that we are instantly transported to an epic movie. It's like a, a, a Lord of the Rings soundtrack, something like that. We, we almost can feel the heat of the battle, like we are literally playing a part in an epic battle, in an epic scene, in a Lord of the Rings movie of sorts. So this is my favorite thing about our songs.
they came pretty prepared and uh, at the the pre-production level it was already done they brought everything here ready the creativity is, is like over the top like above the roof you know when we put all this orchestra together it sounded another another stuff it sounded amazing it sounded stellar it was crazy it was baffling the guys might 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 remember when i first heard it it was like oh now i get it now i get it i'm really proud of the guys i'm really proud to be part of this and to to see all this process in process you know the the middle of the creation the the, the, the creation aspect of it it was amazing para começar que não é um estilo muito assim né comum esse é um estilo bem bem diferente assim é é um estilo bem é, complexo de trabalhar e não é em qualquer esquina que você acha uma banda que toca a pegada que os caras tocam então e, e muitos canais né muito orquestra corais percussão é muitas guitarras então é um som bem 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 complexo de mixar então esse foi o maior desafio de juntar todo esse esses tracks teve músicas de 110 canais juntar todos esses tracks e fazer com que com isso soe é, mais nítido possível né falando ali a dinâmica, mantendo a dinâmica da, 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 da das orquestras dinâmica da enfim de tudo que é uma música muito dinâmica tal então são músicas bem bem é, cinematográficas mesmo né I remember the first time I listened to the Fearless project uh, I became like really impressed with the album by that time so after uh, a couple of months Daniel contacted me and uh, he told me he wanted me to master the album it was an honor for me uh, to do that because it's it's a very impressive album actually I think first of all what makes um, Fearless different from the other bands is the quality itself it's like the performance Daniel's vocals are awesome and uh, but I think for this album in particular I think the the story itself you know the way the story is told the way the songs are connected the different sections you know the different elements so that that kind of thing makes like some you know some fresh sounds it, it brings us like the, some some kind of freshness to the to the album and to the songs you know so I think when you listen to an album, when you listen to a band, you you need to listen to uh, some fresh elements. You need to refer to a specific vocal, to you know, like to specific grooves. I think all of that together makes a good band, makes a good album, and makes a good work. To slay the dragon. And save our doomed souls, heaven has sent a hero. His brave deeds will change this world and the other forever. Having David McAllister's participation was like the cherry on top of the cake, you know, all the narrations and he actually sang a song with me. He does uh, a character very important to, to the story, he's one of the main characters and it was awesome, it, it was actually more than I ever expected because 
sometimes we can can think oh uh, so and so is an actor he won't be able to maybe sing very well along with a real singer but actually on the track that he he sang with me he, he actually made me look bad i think he did such an amazing job david McAllister was i think the the, the special ingredient uh, if, if i can say like that the storytelling the the, the narrations it, it, it all comes to life you know in, in his voice uh, i think his participation was really important it is is one of those uh, small things that makes all the difference uh, in the in the end uh, product what i like the most about his uh, participation was just his character you know his 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 power the, the power that he puts into the, the character uh, he, he he just brought the character to life unfortunately he passed away before seeing the the complete work so we see as kind of uh, a tribute to him to honor his memory to do this right you know to finish the work to finish what he started and to make him proud wherever he is and we hope to honor his memory by this release greetings son of man who are you i am the guardian spirit of understanding watcher of this sacred place and keeper of the greatest power I am destiny. What do you seek? I stare into the eyes of death to come here. The urge of my quest is heavier than fear. Clouded by a myth, a hope became bright to rid my own kind from the grim claws of night. So young and yet so brave, your dear ones you're able to save. Faith and honor I see brought you Na hora que eu coloquei a, a, os canais aqui para começar a mixar, broguei a música para dentro do meu sistema, eu praticamente não editei. Eu baterista e BPM 188 e 300 mil notas lá e no, no compasso, e eu não precisei editar a bateria do cara. Então, tipo, é loucura isso. Giovanni's uh, actual precision, you know, like the, the man is a clock. I didn't have to edit anything or do anything to improve his drumming or his performance or anything, it, it was just there, it, it, it was just ready, you know? I didn't have any uh, extra work to do. This album required of me a lot of speed and precision, mostly, because, of course, it's power metal, so it's very fast, and if you're fast and not precise, things can get a little bit loose. So it required a lot of precision, a lot of study. So the, the approach this album required of me was that I, I become a more cautious drummer, a more careful drummer, in order to perform things clearly. Because drumming for me is like a language, so if you do not have a clear vocabulary, you cannot try to say things very fast. You have to be very cautious about what you're going to say. Drumming for me is this, so this is the approach I had to have in this album. I had to be very careful about the amount of notes I was putting in the fills or the grooves or everything and how and where they were placed. 
in order to make everything that I wanted to transmit clear enough for the listener. Reinforce the gates and walls high to the sky. favorita é a To My Death, eu amo tocar violão, amo arranjos bem feitos né, de um violão e essa música é das poucas do CD que você vê o violão tão presente como na introdução da To My Death, é, eu fiquei muito feliz de poder gravar e de poder executar arranjos de violão né, e de ter partes exclusivas né, onde se tem arranjos bem presentes de violão, pelo folk uma mistura clássica né, com folk. We had lots of laughs, it was a pretty great environment for recording and uh, it was not stressful at all, it was pretty much fun, I've never had so much fun recording before, you know, like laying down tracks after tracks, we laughed a lot, we like told jokes, the air was light, you know, it was not heavy, it was like we passed six, ten hours just fine, just laughing, just feeling good about what was being made. We knew that it was gonna be cool. We knew it was gonna be great. Primeiramente, a banda é uma família. Isso foi o que mais me, me chamou a atenção. Porque é, conheço muitas, muitos caras aí que tem, fazem som juntos e tal, mas não, não tem o feeling, não tem a, essa, essa, essa coisa, essa vibe de escutar e viciar mesmo o som dos caras, porque você sente mesmo a parceria dos caras, porque os caras são uma família. Então eu tive a oportunidade de conhecer cada um, os caras realmente, eles são, antes de, de pegar no seu instrumento, antes de pegar, fazer um som junto, eles são amigos, então isso é, é, é uma coisa que tem que se destacar. E são músicos de primeira, os caras são muito bons, são músicos profissionais, então por isso que deu o resultado que deu, né? Não foi só a, minha, a, a parte da mixagem, mas é o contexto. Desde a captação, desde a da, da performance, até chegar na mixagem e na masterização. Então, isso é essa é a impressão que os caras me passam. Sabe? Eles são amigos, por isso eles tiram o som que tiram e são profissionais. Os caras treinam, os caras desenvolvem, os caras correm atrás, aprimorando cada vez mais ali as suas técnicas, seus conhecimentos, estudando. Então, é isso que eu falaria dos caras. São, são parceiros, são amigos, são músicos excelentes. Várias histórias legais eles contando aqui. A, a, 
as palhaçadas, as, as encarnações, as zoações. It's actually pretty hard to see like a, a band with very young musicians, uh, a band born in a small city in Brazil, and actually the, the metal scene is not our culture here in Brazil. So uh, I think it was a, a pretty good thing to listen to the album after all of those months. It was a, a, very, a very good experience for me to listen to the finished product they, they, they got after long time working with that. <laughs> the first time I heard the, the finished product, I literally cried my eyes out. <laughs> Because it was so emotional to listen to everything that we produced. It took a long time, it took a lot of work, it took a lot of investment, time-wise and money-wise and a lot of studying too in order to make everything as perfect as we could make so uh, my reaction was like having goosebumps all over my body and uh, cry i cried i literally cried like twice or three times listening to the album like each, each song that played I would literally cry a bit more. I felt completion. I felt completion. These are the visions of Andrew in the centuries after mankind's exile. And the last moments of my slumber. 